Hi friends, welcome back. We're talking about rational functions, uh, graphing rational functions specifically. We've talked about finding your vertical and horizontal asymptotes. Now what we're gonna talk about is finding the holes. And I actually think this is the first thing that you should do when you're graphing these, but because uh, it can be a little bit confusing. I briefly mentioned it in a previous video. Uh, all right, grab your notebook. Let's do some practicing. Here we go. Okay, so uh, here is our first function, and we're gonna first find our, we always factor first. So let's go ahead and do that. And if we factor this guy, we end up with three x, x plus one over, uh, let's see, x plus one, x minus two. Okay, so we do have a hole in this one, and that is that the x plus one, do you see we're gonna be canceling that out? All right, so our hole, here's how you find your hole. If you end up uh, canceling something out, you wanna uh, ask yourself, what would make that zero? And in this case, x plus one, well, negative one would make that zero. So that's gonna be our x. So we start by writing that. Now, the next part we do is once we have canceled these out, we have to write a new function and this is the function we'll be graphing. So f of x equals three x over x minus two. Okay, so now that we have, uh, this is our new function that we are graphing. With this information, what we do is we take this negative one and we're gonna plug it into that new function to figure out what our y or our f of x is. So if we do that, we get three times negative one over negative one minus two. That gives me negative three over negative three, which gives me positive one. So our whole occurs at negative one, one. Now let's also go back and do the other two things that we've learned, which are the horizontal and vertical asymptotes. I think vertical asymptotes are the easiest. So we're gonna come over here, use your new function when you're doing this. What would make that equal zero? Positive two, so x equals positive two. Remember, always write your asymptotes as the equation of a line. Don't just put a two in there. Your horizontal asymptotes, this is where we compare our exponents. And looking back over here, you'll see these both have an exponent of one. So those are equal. Remember, Bobo Button eats DC. Eats DC means that if they are, uh, if they're equal, then we need to divide our coefficients. So we're gonna divide three divided by this coefficient right here, which again, if it's not shown, it's a one. So y equals three over one, which equals y equals three. So now what we have is a whole, and we have these two uh, vertical and horizontal asymptotes. Now, when we graph this on Desmos, so if you go out to Desmos, uh, if you go to the Desmos landing page, you'll see graphing calculator right in the middle. You just click on that and it'll take you right there. Then you type in your graph or type in your uh, equation or your function and you'll get this guy. So remember, we said we had a hole at negative one, one. And uh, on Desmos, what happens is you go to negative one, one. Uh, let's see if I can get there. And you'll see that it says undefined. So uh, technically, and oh, actually, you can even see that when you click on it, it's got an open hole there. So if you're graphing this on graph paper, you want to make sure to put an open hole on any holes. That's exactly what you do with that. Uh, and then, of course, we can see that our vertical asymptote is at two here and our horizontal asymptote is at three. So uh, let's try another one. All right. So let's try this guy right here. So for our, our second one, we have this. Let's go ahead and factor this guy. We have like this. All right. And then over X minus one. All right. So X x this tells me different signs so plus and minus factors of three are one and three and i need a positive two so positive three negative one and sure enough look at that we have another hole and actually this is going to be very similar because this is x minus one and what would make that zero that would be so we're going to say whole what would make that zero would be one so we're going to do one comma now let's rewrite our new function f of x equals x plus three. f of x equals x plus three. What we need to do is plug that one into here. So f of x equals one plus three, which equals four. So we have a hole that occurs at one comma four. So you go over one, up four, there's gonna be a hole there. Let's also talk about our vertical asymptotes. In this case, our vertical asymptotes, remember set your denominator equal to zero. There's no denominator, so we have none. Our horizontal asymptotes are when we compare our exponents. And in this case, we have none because there's nothing to compare. So uh, if we take a look at this guy, when we go to graph it, 
let's see, we've got right there. It's a line because even though you'll see that I when I plugged it in, it doesn't look like y equals mx plus b, but because we canceled out that hole, it just ends up being a line. Now remember our hole was at one comma four, and sure enough, if you go there, again, you'll see that undefined and you'll see that open circle. See how the rest of these are closed circles as I slide along here? Get right there, bam, open circle. Oh man, there we go, open circle. Uh, excellent, so let's try another one of these. All right, our third one here, we have this guy. So what we're gonna do is factor, again, we're gonna, we're gonna wanna do negative. Let's take, whenever you see a negative in front, factor that bad boy out so that it makes your life easier. And all that does is change all my signs here over x, x plus one. Now this trinomial can be factored, let's see. X, x, this tells me different signs, so plus minus, factors of two are just one and two. Uh, and I need a, my two to be negative and my one to be positive. Okay, so that cancels this out. So now upstairs I have, let's rewrite this, negative x plus one, x minus two over x, x plus one. And sure enough, I can cancel this out. So I have a hole because I'm canceling something out and that hole starts, where do I, where, uh, how do I get that to equal zero? I would have to add negative one to it. So negative one comma, and let's rewrite our new function. Oops, not y, we're doing f of x. Equals negative, don't forget that negative in the front there, x minus two, keep it in parentheses because we have to distribute that negative if we want to, over x. Okay, so if I take this negative one and I plug it in here, I would get equals uh, negative, negative one minus two, how many times can I say negative? Over negative. So this is gonna be, add the opposite, that's negative three, so I have negative, negative three over negative one. So that gives me three over negative one, which equals negative three. So I have a hole at negative one, negative three. All right, vertical asymptote. Those are the easy ones. Just set your denominator equal to zero. And I've already factored it here, so that's helpful. X, X plus one equals zero. X equals zero. And X equals negative one, because that's what would make this guy zero. So we actually have two vertical asymptotes here. Uh, horizontal asymptotes, remember this is where we compare and it helps if we box our new, uh, our new function. We don't wanna be going back to this one to look for our horizontal or vertical asymptotes. You wanna do, after you've taken a hole, you wanna make sure that it's the new one. So our horizontal asymptotes asks us to compare the exponents of these two variables. Those are the same, remember Bobobotan eats DC, if they're the same, uh, you want to divide your coefficients. And my coefficient here is negative one over one. So for my horizontal asymptote, I have y equals negative one over one, which just equals y equals negative one. All right, let's take a look at what this guy looks like. And sure enough, if we come over here, we have uh, a we have a vertical asymptote at zero and at negative one here. So let's see. We've got um right along zero, and then, uh, oh, you know what? I made a mistake, you guys, I'm so sorry. I said, when you find your vertical and horizontal asymptotes, don't use the old one. That's exactly, did you see there was no negative one? That's exactly why you don't wanna do that. Made a mistake, what vertical asymptote is just this guy, x equals zero. That makes way more sense. So uh, if you take, so, Let's take a look at that again. So now our vertical asymptote is at zero. This is why it's always good to double check by graphing too. So our vertical asymptote is at zero here. Our horizontal asymptote is at negative one. And sure enough, yep, we can see that it's at negative one. Remember we had a hole at negative one, negative three. So we go over negative one, we go down three right here and it's hard to land right on it. There we go, negative one, undefined, and it's an open hole there. So now you understand what they, what uh, the books mean when they say a hole in your polynomial functions. Hopefully this helped. If you have any questions, let your teacher know. Otherwise, we'll see you next time.